New Stand Placement and Tower Clearing at the Hunt Camp, William Hovey Smith, 2016. I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting and also the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China, where we make innovative cooking knives based on ancient patterns. In this episode, I place a new stand and also clear a hunting tower that has been seriously infested with vines. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. We are at hunt camp and again alone. Uh, previously I have come in and spent several days clearing this property and I am the first one to hunt it all season long. And this is more or less 200 acres. It consists of planted pines like those behind us, but also good hardwood bottoms. Now previously I have cut roads through it, including down in the hardwood bottoms. But today I'm going to take my climbing stand and carry it out and actually put it in these pines where I have never hunted in all these years. Nonetheless, this area holds deer. And in three days, the only deer I busted was actually one in these pines. There are some scattered clumps of oaks among them that are dropping acorns. So I'm going to go in, find a bunch of those oaks, find a good pine tree, put my sand up it, and go see if we can find some deer coming to feed. Now this is probably as much of a fashion plate as you'll ever get from me. Uh, I'm wearing my tattered, worn, old hunting clothes. And this is the gear I use when I walk out. Got my hunting bag here. Got my seat cushion on my back. Gun, Patriot rifle this year. Pistol, Remington 1885, Buffalo model, stainless. Long barrel, adjustable sight. Good gun. We'll kill deer from the deer stand yeah, all day. Do that. And my stand on the back. Now with this outfit, yeah, in the past I've been able to walk literally for miles wearing this and have quite commonly. Uh, this stand has been on trees all over North America. I weigh now 175 pounds, so less than I used to, but even then uh, it was handling me just fine. Uh, this stand is unusual in that you can use it either facing the tree or as a bow stand, the safety harness, facing away from the tree. Yes, you can stand up in this stand and shoot a deer or turn around nearly 300 degrees. Uh, probably something like 340 degrees actually, you're only blocked by the tree that you're attached to. So this is a good lightweight outfit, one that's proved effective for me for years. And you can still buy all these components. This Tomcat, this is the Tomcat 2, they also make a big boy version for heavier guys, is made here in Georgia. I am home. I am where I want to be. There's a good nice pine. Over there against the hedgerow, there is a line of hardwoods and a road that hadn't been cut. And those oaks are dropping acorns. So that line goes all the way down the property. And that deer walk. Behind me, is fairly thick cover, which they also like, including even there in the center of the photo, a recently horned little pine tree. And there are deer tracks all around. So yeah. Yeah, this area looks good. All I need to do is get up my tree. We're now ready to start climbing. Now I have my gun unloaded there and the 209 primer removed and it's connected by a hoist rope to the frame and you'll notice two cotter keys. 
And that's what holds the pieces of that stand together. If you think basic physics and mechanics doesn't mean anything in your life, when you're up a stand like this, your life depends on the sheer strength of those two cotter keys, which are less than quarter inch in diameter. That's yeah, something to think about. Well, there I am up my tree. And here's what I'm looking at. It's pretty thick down there. And the road is in that small stuff that you can see. And then swinging around, you see the oaks over on the skyline. And that's actually at the boundary of the other fellow's property. But that's what the deer are coming in for. Now I have three different trails moving into me right where this tree is located. I can see them now that I'm up the tree. Couldn't quite see them before. Now if I, when I get down, I'll probably relocate in that smaller pine tree right there in the center of the photograph. That one is a nice, long, good, straight tree and has a closer overlook of all that small stuff at its base. So that will give me a clearer shot over next to those oak trees. The wind is starting to buffet things pretty hard. Not that I'm in any danger in the tree stand in particular. Although uh, limbs do fall from these pine trees from time to time and more than one hunter has been injured or killed from a falling limb from the top of one of these trees. So I'm going to go down and rescue a tower stand that has been overgrown for about three years now. Let's see if we can rehabilitate it whilst we wait for things to calm down a little bit. This episode might be called Rescuing the Tower Stand. Well, Roger wanted his stand somewhat camouflaged, so he left the stuff growing nearby. But what has happened is the vines have so encrusted it and overgrown it and ingrown into it that you can't even enter the stand now. And so I'm going to go in there and try to cut some of them out. This being the deep south, not only did I bring the saw and the clippers, but also the hornet and wasp spray. I don't want to get up there and hanging on by my fingernails and get attacked by a bunch of wasps, which is entirely possible. Well, a young pine tree there, which is growing through the ladder, is the first thing that's going to have to go. Sorry about that guy, but you're just in the wrong place. I have the stair cut away now, but the floor is pierced metal. And you can see that the vines have just nearly completely infested it. I've already removed much material from the welcome platform, but uh, yeah, we've got much more of this stuff to get out of here. We have the landing more nearly clear. And on the inside, bird's nest, obviously, and many vines. And this is the door frame. Now the door frame was blocked before, and I couldn't move it in either direction. But now maybe we can. Entry has been obtained. Uh, we had to cut through no small number of vines. The little tendrils holding the door are very, very tough indeed. Uh, even though they may be only a millimeter or so in diameter, uh, they're quite strong. I still have considerable close range obstructing material to remove from the inside. The procedure is to pull, clean, hack, slash, and cut, and pile in one corner. And then finally, over the side! And there we go, ready to push the first lot of it out. Reminds me of the verse, Many of the ties that bind Humanity nations far and wide. Well, never heard it? Well, me neither, I just made it up. But here we go! Wah! 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 Away! Finally, 
we can now start to see something from the tire stand. Whoa. Still got a lot of stuff to do, but we're working on it. Second batch of stuff ready to go, McPhee. Overboard with it! Yep. Uh, doing this kind of stuff, uh, watch out for your eyes. Uh, you're pulling and pulling and everything is moving around you, including stuff quite close to your face and nostrils and stuff. So uh, wear glasses if you have to do it, if you have to do something like this, <laughs> and just take care. You don't poke yourself into some uh, rather indelicate place. Whiff. All right, McPhee, away! Run! Go! Go! The field of view from the tower stand is now fairly well restored. I turn around, except for this corner right here in that top. And what you can see through the branches is a uh, road that I purposely cleared with my lawn tractor. I cut that just to give a walk away. And so I'm going to take out that top, and then, yeah, this thing will be ready to shoot from. These are some of the innovative designs for our new knives. Besides backyard deer hunting, I have other outdoor books, and each of them have chapters on knives, and these include extreme muzzleloading, crossbow hunting, and practical bow fishing. Now, still to do in this tower stand is to put some grease on that squeaking chair. Yeah, we got to do that one. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 550 videos, you can go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.